had the opportunity to babysit our first grandchild. Would you please mollify our concerns? <laughs> You're out of luck. <laughs> I don't think I can mollify you about babysitting a grandchild. That is, unless you like the bodily fluids that these little critters produce in enormous quantities. And they have time just perfectly. As soon as you take the diaper off, watch out. <laughs> That is the moment that they choose to let loose. <laughs> and if you're standing in the wrong spot, you're going to get wet. Or worse. So, you have to learn a few things. And the first one is, if you can, put it off as long as you can until <laughs> mom gets home. But, Usually they don't allow that because they start squawking and making crazy noises until you do something. And of course, they don't speak, so when you think it's the diaper, they're hungry. And when you think that you're hungry, it's they tripped on something and stubbed their toe. And if you think they stubbed their toe, it's because their diaper is wet. So it is not an easy thing, babysitting a grandchild, because you have to put your mind into their, their thing. Now when you get about 30 years older, that might be an easy thing to put your mind in their place because your mind will match theirs pretty closely. But if you still have a few operating brain cells up here, it's very difficult to babysit your first grandchild. <laughs>